target sites type 2 restriction endonucleases they can recognize a particular target site and cut within it so these type 2 restriction enzyme they can cut those rec recognition site that is having a rotational symmetry uh, simply we can say that they recognize those nucleotide sequences at specific site either it may be uh, four base pair or three base pair long uh, or six base pair long that is having uh, rotational symmetry or palindromic sequences now what is palindrome palindrome means that the words that are uh, read similar either from the right or the left side for example here this is the recognition sequence for ecor1 restriction enzyme so which sequence we can call it as a palindrome that read the same either from 5 prime to 3 prime or 5 prime to 3 prime so here g a a t t c it is from 5 prime to 3 prime in one direction and then it will read the same from another direction like same reading but from another side that is g a a t t c so such sequences they are called as palindromes and in the next the cutting site has been indicated by the forward slash so these are the cutting site where eco r1 restriction enzyme it can cut the dna and these asterisks they indicate the position where adenine can be methylated by separate methylase activity of eco r1 when eco r1 cut the dna then it can produce single stranded overhangs that is single strands that are protruding at five prime ends so it is the generation of cohesive end cohesive end are the single stranded dna whenever they came in contact with uh, some other dna source then the base parent it is there so that after annealing the gaps can be bridged by the dna ligase so this is the example of equar one that how it can cut a particular recognition site or sequence and here this sequence it is composed of six base pairs then there is another example of different enzymes that can cut different recognition sequences here it is the example of he3 it can recognize our dna sequence that is composed of four base pairs so mostly a recognition sequence for the sake of convenience it can be represented by a even by a single strand like 5 prime to 3 prime so he3 recognize ggcc and when it cut the dna from here this is the recognition site so it can produce the blunt end blunt end means that there are no single stranded protruding or overhangs like in case of pst1 this is another example of restriction enzyme that can recognize six nucleotide sequence and when it is cutting it can produce sticky end with three prime protruding or overhangs and then that we have discussed it is equal one it is also producing sticky end but the fragments are the termini that are produced they are having five prime overhangs so the dna that can be attacked by restriction enzyme they can produce different type of termini so here and other examples are there like bamh1 it can recognize six base pair sequence and steric indicates the site of methylation then some enzymes can recognize eight base pair sequence like not one so a different type of restriction endonucleases are there that can recognize different target sequences and produce different fragments this is another example of interaction of the dna from different sources so this example it is the dna joining from different sources and this is the example of dna that has been digested or fragmented with eco r1 so that single stranded cohesive ends are there that are represented by 
A A T T. And when DNA from another source, if it is cut with the same restriction enzyme, that is equal bond, it is having the same sticky ends that are represented by A A T T. When they are mixed together, then they can be ligated. And these nicks are joints can be filled by DNA ligase. Now sometimes what happens, molecules can join after fragmentation by equar one So this is another example, intramolecular association. Suppose we have cut a DNA, a fragment like the vector with the equar one So two fragments may be there, and sometimes what happens that they can reassociate in the absence of foreign DNA. So this may be the situation that sometime transformants having the foreign DNA and sometime intramolecular association is there where no foreign DNA it is there. So from this discussion we can say that restriction enzymes may be of different types and they can recognize different uh, recognition sequences and even the fragments that they are produced they can also vary uh, in lengths.